guys and welcome back to my channel long time no see i've not uploaded in a few weeks um i've had a lot going on really finished my degree finally and i'm gonna have a video all about that coming up i've had a lot of comments on some of my open university videos asking if i can give an update on where i'm at now with my studies um how it's affected my career uh, what benefits i think i've gained from doing the degree through the open university and if you're one of those people that video is on the way i'm just waiting to get my degree classification so i know what i've finished with just because i think it'd be nice to include that in the video so i'll hopefully be filming that over the next couple of weeks um i'm hoping i'm going to get my classification this week but we'll see fingers crossed um but anyway today's video is a topic that i thought i'd think about mainly because i went and had an eye test today nothing groundbreaking about having an eye test but i thought i'd talk about how pregnancy affected my eyesight because i didn't know that pregnancy could affect your eyesight particularly not in such a dramatic way i say dramatic like i'm not i've not i'm not going blind or anything like that but it did quite dramatically change my prescription to the point where i now need to wear glasses all the time and I wasn't aware that pregnancy could do that, I didn't know that it could affect your eyesight, so I'll backtrack to pre-pregnancy and just explain to you what my eyesight was like before I got pregnant and then lead on to where we're at now. So pre-pregnancy I was long-sighted so I could see far away, um, had really quite good vision, I did need glasses but it was predominantly just for use on the computer and for close work if I'm reading and things like that but I didn't need them all the time and if I forgot to wear them it wasn't to the point where I couldn't see couldn't read or anything like that it was really quite minor and it was more just to help with like headaches and things because if I did use a computer for quite a long time without wearing my glasses I would then get headaches and as someone that suffers with migraines it's just not ideal so um, I used to wear glasses just for use on the computer like at work and just reading and things like that so i got pregnant as you may be aware i now have a wonderful daughter called rosie and she's going to be two this july I got pregnant with rosie and started to notice some changes in my vision and particularly i noticed it whilst i was still doing my driving lessons so whilst doing my driving lessons it's changed now because they do follow the sat nav but when i was doing my driving lessons to start with it was you had to follow road signs um for a portion of the test but the issue i was having was that i was struggling more and more to actually be able to read the road signs until i was like right on top of them basically this is something that i'd never really noticed before because i i wasn't having to read road signs too often as someone that wasn't driving but as I started to progress in my um, driving lessons and I was getting to the point where I was taking my tests, it was very apparent that I couldn't read the road signs until I was pretty much right on top of them. I also had the issue of not being able to read the number plate for the number plate tests that you do when you have your driving test. So they get you to, if you don't know, they get you to read a number plate um, from like the other side of the car park or at a certain distance. And if you can't read that number plate, then you should not be driving without glasses. Not only that, I noticed that at work we have these computer screens that are like further away um, from our own computer screen that we have to be able to read names off of and things. And I couldn't read those screens. I was struggling to read things that came up on the telly. Just in general, walking down the street, I noticed that I couldn't see as far as what I used to be able to see. And then I started to get more and more headaches. Like the headaches I was getting were just increasing, increasing. As someone that suffers with migraines anyway, I noticed that I was getting migraines more frequently and it got to the point where to get rid of them, I just have to go and lay down in a dark room somewhere and just sleep it off. And I do still occasionally get those, but I'll get onto that again in a second. Um, so yeah, I just noticed that my vision had almost completely changed and I thought, you know what, I'm going to book an eye test and see if they can tell me if anything's changed in my prescription because I was not used to not being able to see just in like day to day life. So I booked the eye test, um, obviously they asked me about any health medical conditions and I said obviously I'm pregnant but other than that everything else is the same. And I explained to her that the lady that was testing my eyes that I, 
I felt like I couldn't see anymore. Like I, my, I felt my prescription had completely changed and she assured me at first, she was like, okay, no, it's, it's probably unlikely that it's changed that dramatically, but we'll give you an eye test and see what's going on. So we carried on with the eye test and it very soon became apparent that I had a complete prescription shift. So it's called a myopic shift, which is where you suddenly become more short-sighted. As someone that's always been long-sighted, to now be short-sighted and have a prescription that was worse than my short-sighted prescription. So not only had it completely flipped around, my eyes were actually worse than they were when I was um, long-sighted. And at first she said it's probably down to the hormones in my pregnancy um, that have caused the myopic shift. And she assured me that my eyesight should go back to normal after having Rosie. Um, or if I was continuing to breastfeed, then probably after I'd stopped breastfeeding and once my hormones have completely settled, basically. So, yeah, my prescription had completely changed. I had to get all new glasses. I had to adjust to having to wear glasses all the time. I had to wear glasses while driving. I basically wear my glasses any time that I'm awake and walking around now because without them, it is difficult to see things in focus. I'm not like blind by any means. Um, I can see things like if I'm just walking around my living room, I well enough to see that I don't need my glasses then, but I won't feel comfortable walking down the street without my glasses on. I don't go on like nights out and things without my glasses on. Um, definitely don't drive without my glasses on and at work obviously have them on all the time as well. I had Rosie. Um, breastfed for almost a year and stopped breastfeeding and noticed that my eyes weren't getting any better. I thought, you know what, I'll carry on, I'll carry on. And then the headaches started again and recently I've noticed I've been getting a lot more migraines again and basically just feeling like my vision wasn't getting any better. It wasn't switching back to the previous prescription. If anything, my eyes were getting worse. So today I went for another eye test and lo and behold, my eyes have in fact got worse. My right eye has now become more short-sighted than my left eye. So I think they were about the same, but my right eye has now deteriorated. So in actual fact, pregnancy has completely changed my eyesight for the time being. There is the possibility that next time I get pregnant and I have that surge of hormones, maybe my eyesight will switch back, but there's really not enough research into how and why it has affected my eyesight in the way that it has. But it was something that I was not aware was even a possibility. When getting pregnant and thinking about the symptoms and the side effects of pregnancy, you don't tend to think that it's gonna affect your eyesight, especially not in such an extreme way. So I just thought I'd make a little video about it just to kind of bring some attention to it in case you're noticing some similar kind of symptoms that I was noticing when I was pregnant and thinking that maybe you're just going a little bit crazy because I thought maybe it's all in my head, you know, when you're pregnant, there's a lot going on, a lot of emotions, a lot of hormones, but yeah, my vision completely flipped. And since having Rosie, I have noticed my eyes have got worse, like I said, and now I'm probably gonna be stuck wearing glasses for the rest of my life, to the point where I've finally given in and I'm actually going back to the opticians later today to have a trial for contact lenses. Um, I've never worn contact lenses before in my life, mainly because I didn't need to when I was long-sighted, because I was only using them for close-up work, I could take them off as soon as I wasn't doing the close-up work anymore. Now I need to wear them 24-7. I think it would be nice to have the option to wear contact lenses, particularly if I'm going on a night out or just fancy today of not wearing glasses or for filming because obviously I get the glare on my glasses. And I think my new glasses, I'm gonna get the anti-glare coating on them because this is a real pain when filming videos. I don't know if it annoys you as much as it annoys me, but it really gets on my nerves. <laughs> So yeah, it was just a quick video just to talk to you about how pregnancy completely changed my eyesight and to make you aware that that can in fact happen. So I don't know if you found this little video interesting at all. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. Um, I'll leave some links down below, maybe to some websites that explain my optic shifts and vision changes during pregnancy in case it's something you want to read up a little bit more on. So I'll leave those down below. 
Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Looking at my analytics, most of my video views actually come from people that aren't subscribed to my channel. So please do hit subscribe, it really helps me out and it's just lovely to see all these new faces uh, joining my channel. Other than that, leave your comments down below. If you have any questions, do feel free to ask them down below and I'll try and answer you. I'm trying to keep more on top of comments now. Uh, obviously, it was difficult with Rosie running around quite a lot to reply to comments sometimes, but obviously me and Jack now share custody. So I'll catch up on comments on the days that I don't have Rosie. So do leave them down below for me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!